Welcome back! Welcome, welcome back to more travel tales in this house. Mm, since it's so hot today, I figured let's cool down with a little story from the north of Europe, Lapland, in the Arctic Circle, which, fun fact, stretches over four countries and is an officially designated region. It's not a country, but um, its native people are the Sami and it's so worth visit any time of the year, especially winter if you love snow and snow activities and culture. Because one thing you can do, which is so much fun, is riding with the huskies. And of course I had to do that, because why not? I started off slow, thinking maybe I should start with a reindeer sleigh ride, because why not? Reindeers are cute, right? No. No. The reindeers we saw, they were actually kind of vicious, they didn't like people that much. Maybe because they were a tourist attraction, I get it. But they were just really grumpy and don't go too close, they kind of maybe snap at you, I don't know. Um, but being in a reindeer sleigh is the slowest thing ever and all you see is a reindeer butt. Just look to the side, there's more snow, there's some more trees, reindeer butt. Mm, don't recommend that too much, but husk is so much different. And we didn't know when we signed up for it that we actually had to drive the sleigh with the huskies ourselves. So we got a very short, like very short introduction by a pro husky runner. Um, so basically we had to just stand behind the sleigh on the scale and then kind of hold on to it and just steer it a little bit, like lean into certain directions, like maybe slow down the husky if they're going too fast, because basically they're smart animals, they know where they're going, they're not going to run into things, you just have to make sure that the sleigh doesn't run into things or topple over or you topple over, you know, keep control of that, because usually there's also a person sitting in the sleigh. Um, so we teamed up with people, I had my friend with me, so she was sitting in the sleigh, I was steering, I had no idea really what I was supposed to be doing, but it worked out quite well. I was, you know, a pro at it, if I might say so. Um, yeah, so I just leaned in the car, and it was going so fast, because the huskies, they just want to run, they have so much energy, they just want to have fun, and we were the last in the party, so that, I mean, that meant that I actually had to slow them down a lot, which they didn't like, and I started to fight, and it was just, uh a bit weird but like I loved the speed of it and you can see the landscape passing and it's just so beautiful with the blue sky and glaring sun and the white surface and I see it on the trees and it's just the most beautiful thing and the huskies are just so positive and cute and happy and then we had a switch it was like cool I can enjoy this I don't have to like because it's quite hard like you have to use your entire body weight to like rein them in keep the sleigh in position and the husky slow down you know it's, it's a kind of a little bit of a workout, right? So I was sitting in the sleigh, I was like relaxing, thought I could take some photos. Uh, but my friend didn't really know how to use the sleigh that well. Um, so pretty soon she, she um, didn't know how to position herself when there was a curve. Like how to use your weight and lean into the curve. So she just did the opposite of what you should be doing. And like sort of step straight, lean into the opposite direction, which resulted in the sleigh toppling over onto me. She fell out, but I was still in the sleigh and somehow my arm got caught underneath the, well, underneath the sleigh while the huskies were still running. They didn't care what position the sleigh was in, they just wanted to run. So I was in that sleigh with my arm underneath it being dragged between the sleigh and the snow. It ended up completely purple. And that went on for a couple meters and then somehow there was a bump. So that flipped over the sleigh into the normal position, but kicked me out as well. So I ended up in the ditches while the sleigh went just right past us, way ahead, and then we couldn't see it again. Too bad that we were the last people in the party because nobody noticed that that happened and everyone was gone. We didn't know where that was going. We didn't know where we just came from. We didn't have a phone. Um, the way they told us if something happened, we should signal was to wave. But if there's no one there to see, do you wave? Um, so we were like stranded and we were kind of freaking out a little bit in the middle of nowhere. It was minus 15 degrees, we didn't have food, we didn't know and we tried breathing, we didn't know she was staged in the wall. But we stayed, because like that's usually the smartest thing to do. And after 15 minutes or so, someone noticed that there was like an empty sleigh with wild huskies running around. So they came chasing for us. 
waves, snowmobiles, and that's actually awesome because you had to pay extra to use the snowmobiles and they picked us up on snowmobiles and we got to use them for free. But also we paid in shame and embarrassment afterwards because there was a roundup where we had to sit around a campfire and talk about how amazing the experience was and everyone was like, oh, you did too? We just, you know, didn't make up. And the laughter was hilarious for everyone else but us. Speaking of fun, there will be more stories. There have been more stories. So if you want to see the other ones, maybe you've missed them, I highly encourage you to subscribe, follow, and enable the notifications to see when the new videos are up so you don't miss them. Also, I wrote a book about various adventures and mishaps during my Australia and New Zealand travels, and they're here. You can get them on Amazon. And uh, well, I see you around in two days, I guess. Stay tuned, stay awesome, and have a Merry Christmas time.